darling, it sounds wonderful. <laughs> Major Healy? Forget it. I promised Tony I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, boy. No, I know all about marriage. That's why I'm a bachelor. That's my problem, Dave. I see your matrimony is beset with hidden shoals and reefs. Just found out Samantha's a witch. And it takes tolerance and understanding <laughs> to find the channel of true love. I didn't believe it until she started moving things around. Marriage is a partnership where two people side by side face life's obstacles together. I can't tell my family. If two people love each other, really love each other, they I'm gonna have trouble getting my aunt down off the garage roof when it's raining. Just that is the foundation upon which every lasting marriage is built. Just. Of course, it might have certain advantages, like if you weren't a drink in a dry state. Well, I gotta go. Listen, if you ever need any help or advice again, just feel free to call on me. <laughs> it used to uh, get pretty cold up in Wisconsin where I was. Oh, do you enjoy the cold weather? Yeah. I must say, some of the happiest days of my life were spent in the snow and the, the cold in Wisconsin. Like that, Master? <laughs> That's wonderful, dear. That's what Dr. Bellows is. Yeah. <laughs> Add string to it. An old fashioned? With a cherry on top. I'll make it myself. All by yourself. <laughs> We'll work it out somehow. So my wife's a witch. Every married man has to make some adjustment. <laughs> Jenny! 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 <laughs> Master! Are you not proud of me? I did exactly as you said. Put it back! But Master, Mr. Winkler may come by and then he will see it. Yes, he's going to come back, and he's got to see it. Now, you put this house back just the way you found it. Now, go, and then get out of here. Oh, but, Master, I really do not think that you... Should... You don't have to think. All you have to do is follow orders, understand? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Master. I love you, and that's all that matters. Do you really mean that? When two people love each other, the only thing that's important is to be together. Young or old, you'll always be the same to me. Oh, Darren, I love you so much. Master, now the tree is all trimmed and we can go to our island for the Sunday. And Jenny, not here. Don't blink in here. The tree hasn't been trimmed. It's been blinked. Now, put that thing back. Oh, but Master, ever since I found that island where they sent you, I've wanted to go there with you. And you <laughs> promised me that this Sunday we could go. Yeah, I know, but the island's gonna have to... Hi, Miss Jordan! <laughs> The island's just gonna have to wait. I, after I finish the tree, I gotta mow the lawn and paint the kitchen windows. I, it's just gonna take all day, that's all. Not if you let <laughs> me help you. See, now, there's a nice clean spot. <laughs> uh, let me wash up. I'll fix you some breakfast. I haven't got time for breakfast. I have an 11 o'clock appointment, and then I have to stop off and pick up a special surprise I found for you. What's the occasion? It's an everyday occasion. I love you. Stop! I'm getting nauseous. <laughs> up here, my darling. And Dora, must you show up without any warning, like the flu? Derwood, you are very ignorable. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. Ma oh. Mama, my master is very sick. Ha ha! Good news. I'll get some wine. Mama, I do not want any wine. I, I want you to help cure my master. You see, he, he keeps falling asleep all the time, and then he has this affliction of the right knee and the left ear, and it sounds like... Mm. I know what it sounds like. Too bad. It looks like you will have to find a new master. Now, it just so happens that I know of this fabulously wealthy sultan. Mama, I do not want a sultan. I want you to help me cure the master I have. Ed, did you see that? 
Now that's what I call magic. She opened the garage door. So what do you want me to do, applaud? No, no, she opened it. No hands, nothing. She just sat there. Well, why don't you stop? They probably got an electric door like they demonstrated down at the market. I don't believe it. She opens doors without electricity. Somebody ought to tell the electric company they're losing a bundle on her. I'm losing a bundle on you. I have to pay for a glass door. Eyeglasses, lessons in how to read would be cheaper. All right, go ahead and joke. I'm telling you she's strange. She's strange. You're strange. So prove it. How? Go over and ask him. I will. Tonight, I'll go. Why do you have to wait until tonight? Because if I have to look like an idiot, I'd rather do it in the dark. <laughs> Can you make it rain or snow? No, General. Yes, you can. Uh, make it snow. Snow. <laughs> Take it, Tony. Doctor. I'm so sorry about all this, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was all a coincidence. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'd like to leave a little plaything for the baby. I thought a centaur might be nice. <laughs> Serena, I, I have to explain something. You see, my husband is mortal. <gasps> oh, you poor dear. If you really want to get her something, why don't you buy her a rattle? Darling, you're positively brilliant. I'd never have thought of that. <sighs> Takes practice. <laughs> At least let me leave you a little something. <laughs> Serena, I hate to seem ungrateful, but uh, they have a rule about too many flowers in the room. As a matter of fact, you're not even supposed to be here. Yes, I know. An old bitty nurse tried to stop me outside. That must have been Miss Kelton. You better leave before she gets back. Oh, darling, she's been here all the time. Where? <laughs> oh, she did it. That naive simpleton of a sister of mine married him. <gasps> Sorry that they ever set eyes on one another. Oh! I'll break it up. Now, Tabitha, I want you to do that test. And I certainly hope you flunk it. I think. <laughs> you can't get that pretty pony, can you, Tabitha? Can you get the pretty pony? <laughs> she can't get the pretty pony. <laughs> Pony. She can get the pretty pony. <laughs> oh, Ginger, oh. my poor baby, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. It's the Air Force I'm worried about. <laughs> oh, listen, General Peterson's waiting for me. Jeannie, if you know what makes this dog act this way, would you please tell me, for heaven's sakes? Here, you hold him. No, I don't want him. I don't want him. I don't want the dog. I... Well, he seems to be all right now. Uh-huh. Now watch. When Jinjin was a puppy, the guards at the Emir's palace were cruel to him. And they wore uniforms. Oh, you mean he hates uniforms? Mm -hmm. oh, terrific, terrific. The ideal dog for an Air Force officer. Don't you think I'm entitled to know why? The very least you could do is tell me why. Very well. What are you wearing? My flying suit. <laughs> Mother warned me about you and that model, but I didn't believe her. Buffy? Me interested in Buffy? Poor Sam, don't make me laugh. 
Don't you use that patronizing tone with me, or I won't say another word. Me interested in Buffy? I couldn't see her in a million years. She can't see me without her glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Master. You did not tell me you were going out tonight. Oh, didn't I? Well, it must have slipped my mind. You're all dressed up. I'm ready. Where are we going tonight, Master? Uh, we're not going anywhere. I have a date tonight with an old friend of mine from Chicago. <laughs> Jeannie, what do you think you're doing? You have been working much too hard lately, Master. It would be better if you stayed home and rested. Well, I, I'll decide that. Now, I'm going out. And I, this jealousy of yours is ridiculous. Oh, well, I am not jealous, Master. Who is this girlfriend? She's... Uh, he's a very old school chump of mine from Ohio. Uh, what is her name? Susie. Charlie Susie. <laughs> Oh, Master, thou art not dealing with a stupid genie. You will stay home tonight. No, I'm not. I promised I'd visit him, and visit him I'm going to. Now, come on, give me my clothes. No, Master. <laughs> All right, then I'll go and get dressed myself. You can make me late, but you can't keep me here. This is not a jail, you know? <laughs> Okay, Tabitha, I have the cure from Dr. Bombay, and you don't even have to try to try. Cat's paw, dragon's claw, combine in delicate maneuver. Wow, this is better than television. Lisa, we mustn't speak in the middle of an incantation. Sorry. Sam, Cat Keith and Dorothy just arrived, and Dorothy's on her way up here. Mommy and Daddy are here? Yeah, so, so we better hurry. But if you take away the dots, we won't be sisters anymore. Tabitha, you can be sisters without looking alike. But that girl in the park said that Lisa and me can't be sisters because I'm white and she's black. That's right, Mrs. Stevens. That's what she said. Well, she was wrong. Sisters are girls who share something, usually the same parents. But if you share other things, good feelings, friendship, love, the way you two do, well, that makes you sisters in another way. Actually, all men are brothers, even if they're girls. Well, I guess Mama would be kind of upset to see the polka dots. Kind of. I think they're ready now. OK, Tabitha. OK, Mommy. But remember, we'll still be sisters, and you'll come visit. All the time. This is better than Disneyland. Jeannie, I wish you could speak English. Yo, sure, hey, Parian. Somehow I must find a way to please thee, Master. Forget it. You'll never be able to please me as long as you don't understand. You spoke English. That, that's all I had to do was say I wish. Thou may ask anything of thy slave, Master. <laughs> that, that, that's very kind of you. I, I actually don't need anything at the moment. Uh, yes, I do. I need a helicopter. Helicopter? Uh, yes, a helicopter. It's a, well, it's like an airplane, and it's big, and it's it's noisy, and uh, well, it has blades on top. <laughs> Makes that kind of a noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a helicopter. That's a helicopter. That's a helicopter. That is a helicopter. Hey, hey. Dear, what can I do to make it up to you? <laughs> I'll <think of> something. <laughs> but I love you. And that is the truth, the whole truth, and etc. 